space out there to set up a return to remember. You've got five good offensive linemen out there. Playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill. Not a Now they'll change things for us over for the snap. snap. Now on now third, third long down the third long down On second and short. At the 41 yard line. Now flags come in here. Look like one of the Eagles might have moved. Now, after the false start, here's second and seven. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Throwing his Hurts. That one complete down the field. And now look at this. Big game. Unfortunately, he's able to get this one back, so it is a first down. And defensively, maybe an opportunity miss there. No doubt about it. When that ball's out, all you're thinking about as a defender is, this is our chance to make a huge play. Instead, he's able to recover his own fumble. And usually, Inside relief. Yeah, right. usually those wide receiver fumbles, there's open space around for the defense, but not there. He hops right back on it. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to... And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. Elliott good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time they were stopped on fourth down. Had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. 
I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us, or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves, let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense and more confidence? I think as a defense, you are so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway, but a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about about yourselves. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. Now Dak, he's going to mix it up. Run of the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. Third down and one. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. Trying to run for it with Pollard. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. First down, and it's Pollard again. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Run of the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. C.D. Lamb. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He'll take it up the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. A second down throw for Prescott. Rolling to his right. Oh, and that is incomplete. That's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. On third down, it's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. And able to find the open man. That's complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, even the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. From the red zone now, Prescott. There again is Cooks, complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. From the five now, second and a yard. To the air again, Prescott. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. 
Aubrey good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll throw now on the final play. This is Smith to the ground. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Give to Pollard, running left. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. This a second and seven from the 37. And Prescott, he's going to change things up here. And now they'll shift things around. Lamb will go in motion. Second down, Pollard again. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 and the 34. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Looking to throw, Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he will have a Cowboys first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, he got four on third down. Now a give here to Pollard, and he's got it down to the 28. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Throwing Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Prescott to throw it. And he is caught. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down. And that sets up a first and goal. the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Kevontae Turpin, a five-yard touchdown. 